Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's play Jake Kuhn, Story of the Tamamayu. Jake Kuhn was made in 1998 and developed by a company named Genki in collaboration with Katsuya Kondo, a member of Studio Ghibli. Uh, what inspired me to play this game now is the release of a, a recent game that came out for the PlayStation 3, Nino Kuni, which was developed by Studio Ghibli. Hello. God of the forest. I couldn't Source help but notice that I'll oh, get that mouse out he of here. His servants, that uh, a lot of the, the mechanics in Nino Kuni are taken from Jake Kuhn. So I decided that I might as well play this game eh, since For a time, since I'm watching Nino Kuni right now anyway. Soon the forest was visited by fate. The divine spirits created a beast in their own image. Elrum warned. That is the beast of knowledge. And it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. The divine spirit so promised. Was that the Valley of the Wind? And gave birth to the beast of their own image. Such was man's beginning. Time passed, and the forest was again visited by fate. A divine spirit was seduced by a beast of knowledge. And so the promise to Elrond broken. This game is on PS1, by the way. The spirit lost its divine power. And by the child of man and spirit, it was gained. This new power threatened Elrum, and so was divided into light and darkness. There's our main character. So I think by now you can see the resemblance in character design. Uh, Katsui Kondo was the character designer for uh, movies like uh, Kiki's Delivery Service and uh, Drawn to the Sea. Or was it I Dream of the Sea? Oh, I forget. Alright, let's play Jake Coon. I am the Nagi Prophet. He. I see the future through the words of God. What a nice skill to have. I feel before me the one who shall lead our accursed nation to the forest. That brave statue. It is just as the hunter who is praised in our legends. That hunter shall be known as... Uh, mind the audio cut out, but all well. Our hero's name is Levant. The curse shall not be lifted. Until we are led to eternal repose. May the protection of Aaron be his. So if you didn't get everything in the opening, either because you couldn't hear over me, or because it was a little hard to understand, the we live in a world the where the entire the world is covered by mostly minions. forest. And so begins the All opening. because a goddess of wisdom fell in love with a human. And it's up to us, legendary heroes of the Cocoon, to cast away the curse. The tune of a Cocoon Master is such an enchanting sound. You will be a Cocoon Master someday. I hope so. After all, you are the son of a Cocoon Master. That's the way it oh, is. Okay, good then. And as a Nagi woman, I will be your bride. Well, at least she but sounds you happy. Know... Hey, you two! Getting a little hot up here, if you know what I mean! Oh, Louie, always interrupting. Louie, this is none of your business, kid. Get out of here! I'm not a kid! And besides, this watchtower's my responsibility. I'm pretty sure people with only one tooth I are considered kids. Not like your stupid cocoon master. So there! Huh. 
It doesn't seem like we're, uh... Don't be messing around just because Our profession is very well looked upon. Idiots. I guess it's because we haven't been successful yet. You're all talk, and a buck-tooth idiot, too. He's a one-tooth idiot. Sheesh, I wonder what his problem is. Well, obviously, because we have a girlfriend oh, from the very beginning right. of the game. Some minstrels are coming to the village square tomorrow. I bet they'll have some great tales to tell. Let's invite Kelmar, too, okay? Alright, so we've only been playing for well, two minutes, we and four characters rest. have been introduced. See you at the village square tomorrow. Don't forget. Jay Cocoon is a short game, viewers, but you can extend the playtime uh, a lot. And that's a good thing. Oh, I love the uh, music for the home. Cyrus is the village we live in, by the way. Unfortunately, there's no actual map. A lot of the uh, game is restricted to... <clears throat> restricted to uh, just menus. Uh, let's see, if you press square to run, it's kind of awkward. And uh, circle, I think. Circle is our menu. Right now we are 11th. We have nothing but a knife and 100 HP. How do we get out? Oh, triangle, there we go. You can also press R2 to run. And so far that's all the things we need to do. X is to interact with people. Welcome home. Tonight is a very special night. We welcome the spirits of our ancestors. I'm assuming this is our mom. But your father might still be alive out there somewhere. So he won't need our welcome. Ah, yes. Every protagonist must only Instead, have one parent. I prayed to the god of the forest for his safety. It's a rule, you know. I know how forgetful you are. Remember to write important things down before. I wonder if we'll get the show a battle before the uh, episode's over. All right, let's go to bed because we have nothing else to do right Good now. Good idea. Well then, sweet dreams, my son. One of the first games to have voiceovers. It's pretty good. PlayStation 1 was really good about that. Rick Hess has run away. He's run off, you know. It's all hearsay. It seems as if he was stolen by a naughty woman. And he ran off. And he ran off. And he ran off. His son is still so young. Too young to become a balloon master. Run away. Run away. Something's troubling us. Oh, oh dear. There you are! What are you up to? Didn't you say we would go listen to the minstrels? Kalmar is waiting, so I'll go on ahead. Well, this doesn't look like the village. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a strange mist around our lens. Oh well, let's see here. Uh, we can't do our, go into our menu or anything. We just have no choice but to run. Run into the deep mist. Huh. We don't seem to be getting anywhere. Oh, oh hello, Louis. Yo, lost our son, Lynn? Yes. Yes, we are. The demons of Genji hang around here. You are so pathetic. It's not my fault I woke up in a forest. Hey, come back here. Oh no, dead end. Oh no, ghost man. Kid. Oh, dream man. Are you from Cyrus? What are you doing out here? Without the Lion of Peril, Cyrus should not have a cocoon master. Who's the Lion of Peril? So you are the son of the Lion of Peril. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well now. Let's see Let's how you see measure, how measure up to your lineage. I haven't even started training yet. Oh dear. Alright, so this is how battles work. We can use items, attack, and defend. For now, we can't do any of these. Attack with ready weapon, defend, or use an item. Eh? So let's keep going. Take this. Oh, well, I didn't seem to do very much at all. Yeah, there is a bug in this game uh, where... If you use an emulator, the HP will not scale to the bar, so 
as you can see, it kind of overlaps on the meter. It doesn't really matter much, though. But that guy summoned a dragon, and, oh, it's kind of hurting us. Let's uh, defend instead. Oh, that hurt. Well, that sucked. What are we gonna do? We can't do anything. We can't even retreat. Well, this just isn't fair. Huh? Oh, now let's get out of here. Without the power to summon a magic beast, you are no threat to me. I'm glad you know that. Just the son of a coward. <laughs> Okay, so things to fix. Get rid of cursor. Wake up. Well, if you that wasn't very obvious with the name of that night. man, it was obviously a Are dream. Are you all right? They are all waiting for you. That sucks, actually. I hate being the last person. All right, so let's uh. Oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought I had something else in my inventory, but I guess we don't. Let's go then. Uh, what's going on? Come quick! It's it's terrible. Oh, hello, Kelamar. There's a thundering noise coming from the forest. Oh no! Ma it's got to be the demons. Oh no, Mabu! She's gone off to the watchtower all by herself. If it really is demons, she could be in danger. Let's go now! Okay, I guess you're the boss. Oh look, bugs. I forget what these are called, they have a name. I'm sure they'll tell us. Oh look, an old lady. She's exercising. No, I'm just kidding. She's doing some magic. I like how we just stand in front of them. Not go inside, you know, take shelter. Well, so much for hearing stories. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait on that. That sucks. The beasts of knowledge. Touched by the misery of the Great Father, they release a white beast into the forest. Okay. Its howl is the Requiem of Souls. Oh, those bug looks lo looked kinda white. I guess. Hordes of winged insects have broken through the Divide Barrier and attacked the village! What can this mean? It means something's wrong? At long last, has Elrum's Day of Judgment come to Cyrus? It's only been 13 minutes. I do not believe that the Divine Barrier of Gehenna will hold much longer. We must act. Do you not think so, High Priestess Garai? Destruction is often what comes of the beasts of knowledge. This could be an act of man. The minions of the forest could okay, not have so broken through the divine barrier on their own. Whatever the cause may be, once the insects flew off, many of our people fell into a sleep from which they cannot wait. Oh, glad I paid attention then. We must do something. Some of our villagers have fallen to eternal I sleep. I regret to say, those winged insects are the Oni Boo Boo. Oh, okay, there we go. The locusts They're called Oni Boo Boo. Oni means demon. The dust spread by the Oni Boo Boo plunges all into sleep, returning them to the earth. Okay, so it causes comas. I hear the ancient empire of Gehenna Pale was swallowed into the forest by an Onibubu attack. That's great and all. It is a pity, but never again shall they wake. 
Again, that's great, but we need to make sure we don't a do that. pity, is it? <laughs> How dare you? The only reason we allowed a wanderer like you to live here is because we believed in the divine magic of the Nagi. Well, you should believe. I think our village is safe. But you've let our people fall ill without even trying to help. And still you do nothing. I don't think Jibara was outside to see the so, uh, blanket of green light protecting their village. The divine spells were all just a hoax. What? You say there is some other way? Such as offering some kind of human sacrifice to pacify the forest? I am surprised people are suggesting these things. Better to have cut off the source of evil before it came to this, if all it would have taken was a sacrifice. I would like to think that sacrificing people is not the way to go. Foolishness. The forest lends no ear to the wishes of man. If you speak the truth, then the evil spirits must be imprisoned one and all. Both of you, quiet down. Now, Garai. Are you saying there is no way to awaken them? I'm sure there's some way, probably. The souls of those fallen to sleep wander the dream world. Well, that didn't sound like very much fun. I think we were to in there. To retrieve their souls and return them to their bodies, we must... Yes! That's it! The Calabas Herb! Ah, yes. Red text. If only we had the legendary herb, might it not cure the sleep sickness? Well now, Garai, are you not well versed in the ways of the forest? I get the feeling these two have a rivalry of some sort. Chieftain, what do you say about sending Garai into the forest? Oh yeah, forest? definitely. Definitely gonna be a rivalry here. What would that accomplish? I would just be swallowed up and never heard from again. Yeah, probably. Although... The herb is said to cure the sleep sickness. I wonder who's going to be tasked with getting the herb, I wonder. Well then, tell us if there is some other way. Or are you just going to sit around and let them all die? I feel like there is a hypocrite among us. You always were a stranger among us. Oh, red text again. Any further sacrifice will be the end of the village. Tradition states oh. that a cocoon master shall suppress the demons. Since the Lion of Peril is no more, we have little choice. We must send a new cocoon master into the forest. I bet that's going to be us. Karai, we must perform the sacred union. Sacred union means marriage, by the way. We of the Nagi were born to live together with the cocoon masters. Mabu should not object. It is all for the sake of Cyrus. We are prepared. I don't know about that. I mean... So, then it is decided. I mean, don't we get a say? Summon our new cocoon master, the son of the line of peril, and Mabu, maiden of the Nagi tribe. I guess we don't get a say in this. Have them both come to the Hall of Judgment. Uh, no, no say in this. Okay. In order to cure the sick, the Calabas herb must be retrieved from the forest. Okay. You are the child of a long line of cocoon masters in Cyrus. Yes. On this day, <coughs> the sacred union shall be performed. As the successor to the Lion of Peril, you shall determine the fate of us all. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I believed in your father, Riquettes. Oh, okay. But? He was a courageous yet gentle man. Even though he was swallowed up by the forest when the tide of fortune turned against him. He was certainly not a coward as the villagers might have called okay, you. Okay, that explains a lot of things now. Stand tall and work hard. I wish you luck in your father's stead. Oh yes, you must also cherish your wife. Oh yes, I forgot to mention this thing that's really important. A devoted husband is a Nagi woman's only salvation. 
you will understand someday. May fortune be with you in battle. I do like the music in this game. It's subtle, but it gets its meaning across. According to tradition, I hereby conduct the sacred union. What? No, I do? Are you both ready? No, no, there isn't. Okay. O oh, Elrum, god of the forest. O oh, forest, mother to all. We, the beasts of knowledge, Wait born of the forest. How old is our character? Once again, grant us here this day. Is this even legal? That which touches and moves thy worried heart. So that we, as beasts, may live in harmony with the forest. Oh, so wise. Oh, so wise. This is the earring of the hunter. Oh, man. Symbol of your coming of age. Did we get our ears pierced? As long as you possess it, you may escape death, even when defeated in the forest. So why did my dad die? Or it is my farewell gift to he who journeys to the land of ordeal. Now then, listen well, you two. Some people fear cocoon masters and call them impure hunters. Many will be prejudiced towards you. Nevertheless, you must persevere in your lonely struggle. What is with all these people and not liking Cocoon Masters? A terrible ordeal also awaits the women of the Nagi. The infections on their bodies are the side effects of the Cocoon purification process. These are known as cursed brandings. In the worst case, this can even cause death. Say what? Please. Care for one another so, in sickness. By doing her job, she's going to get scars and die. Tomorrow, your lonely struggle shall oh, begin. Oh, this is a fantastic opening. Sleep well this night, so that you may be ready to depart come morning. Come to my house. We must prepare what you need for your journey. We get the hunter's earring. It's not an accessory, it's a key item. Ah, I knew you'd be here. What's the matter? Oh, I bet you're nervous. So much happened all at once today. I'm worn out. Adults always have to have it their way. That's why I don't like them. But it's strange, isn't it? Why is it that only Nagi women are able to purify? Mother Garai says it's divine power. At this point, I'm not going to question anything anymore. But it doesn't seem that the villagers think so. <clears throat> who's up there? And who's playing that awful flute music in the middle of the night? Oh, Louie. After what already happened today? Do you want the monsters to attack again or something? Don't you have work to do tomorrow? Go to bed already! What do you want? Oh, you must be scared. Isn't it past your bedtime? Or are you too afraid to go to sleep? Oh, she got him. I already told you! I'm not a kid! Try not to get eaten alive out there, tough guy. Everyone's oh, just making fun of me today. Oh, but I guess there's nothing scarier than Mabu. Ah, you are such a brat. You're making me lose my temper, you little twit. Well, we have an early start tomorrow. Better get to bed. And don't oversleep, young cocoon master. This is the only episode that will go this See long, you tomorrow. by the way. We just need to get all this out of the way.
Oh, not again. Your father was a noble man. Coward. According to tradition, I hereby proclaim This is what all dreams should look like, by the way. You are bright from this day forward. Bright from this day forward. Treacherous girl. Treacherous girl. I get the feeling our protagonist isn't taking this responsibility quite well. It's a pity he cannot speak, for he is the silent protagonist. Oh, well, not again. So you so dress you like you've become a man. What of it? Still you are but the son of a coward. Like father, like son. That Nogi maiden shall be left behind when you are killed in the forest. How pitiful. Oh. Oh dear. Well, if you're, we're gonna save this for later. This is Steam World 27, wishing you a brighter tomorrow. Next time, we'll defeat this Patamio.